This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. In this video, we're going to reveal five river canoeing tips that'll make you a better paddler, or at least save you from having to learn important lessons the hard way. First off, it's critical that you understand your limits when you're paddling, because even though river canoeing is a relatively safe activity, when things do go wrong, situations can become very serious very fast. With that being said, when canoeing and flowing rivers, it's essential that you always wear a life jacket on the water, that you're aware of any potential hazards like low head dams, and that you're conservative with all your decisions. In fact, when making decisions on the river, it's always better to wish you had done something than wish you had not done something. The next tip is about how the canoe travels through the water. The tip is that whether you're paddling solo or a tandem canoe, all turns or course corrections should be initiated from the stern of the canoe. Why? Because as a canoe moves forward through the water, the bow wants to go straight because it's effectively being held in place by the resistance of the oncoming water. On the other hand, the stern of the canoe is free to move side to side because it doesn't experience the same water pressure. The third key river canoeing tip is that even though canoes have comfy and inviting looking seats, you should strongly consider kneeling in the canoe when you're paddling on flowing rivers. Kneeling is a much more stable position because it lowers your center of gravity and it also gives you better contact and control over the canoe. Of course, if you're gonna kneel, it'll be much more comfortable if you have foam pads or something else soft to kneel on. The fourth river canoeing tip is that in the event of a capsize, the river can separate people and gear incredibly quickly. And so it's important that you have a plan in place before you head out on the water and that everyone's on the same wavelength. Of course, the most important thing you can do to prepare for an unexpected capsize is to always wear a life jacket when you're on the water. A life jacket can not only save your life, but it'll make dealing with your canoe and any other gear much easier. The fifth and final tip for canoeing is simple and has the unique ability to have your canoe trip end on a high note. Since canoeing flowing rivers typically means setting up a shuttle, plan ahead and make sure you have everything you might need in the vehicle that's waiting at the takeout. This means having things like towels, warm and dry clothes, drinks and snacks. Most importantly though, make sure you have the keys for the takeout vehicle. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots more canoeing tips and tricks.